Hi hey guys, hope everybody's well. A uh, bit of a treat for you today, or possibly not, depending on how confused you are with the Pubble Jumper series. <laughs> I thought we were pretty much done with it, but uh, Lost came out of another little little Puddle Jumper called the Puddle Jumper HP over here. Uh, the whole series are absolutely cracking boards, so uh, depending on what you want it to do uh, and what your waves are like locally, there'll be one that'll suit you better than another. Um, think about where to go in your quiver, but uh, yeah, this is just probably a probably a pretty unique chance to see all three of these together. So uh, basically, you started off with the puddle jumper. Now, this is my puddle jumper. This is uh, six two, twenty two and a quarter and forty three liters. So that's actually a slim dim's puddle jumper. So this is longer and a little bit slimmer than a normal puddle jumper would be so this is probably going to make things even harder for you so just imagine if you go slim dims this is what you're going to get if you go to the normal one which i've had in the lib tech this has come down to 511 in 42 liters so a similar volume so just bear in mind normally if you're standard puddle jumper this would be shorter fatter and squatter so basically the puddle jumper came first and then they started making the puddle jumper in a rounded pin version so you could ride slightly bigger waves in it. And uh, I really love this and you can read my individual reviews on them. Uh, they're quite special because they've, uh, they've got slightly more modern concaves and a little bit more rocker. So they still grovel well but they actually turn really well. Now I'd also say if you've got quite good waves locally then one of one of these will probably be a groveler for you and if your waves are not so good and you're riding a bit bigger boards and a bit bigger volume like me and you're not a great surfer then uh these can actually be quite a good all-round board for you so uh so yeah puddle jumper came first say if you get a normal puddle jumper it'll be a bit fat a bit more squat and uh and they do that in the rounded pin as well so you could take it into a bit bigger wave uh and then the puddle fish came after, which is a more fishy version of the puddle jumper. Now this is a normal size puddle fish, so this is a 6-0, so it's 6-0, 22, two and three quarters, and it's 41.75, so it's 42 liters. So basically, this is similar to the puddle jumper. The rock is not a million miles off the puddle jumper, it's just got a bit more wide point forward and a bit wider tail, but the tail is still refined. All of these boards, the tails are still refined, so uh, that's that's worth bearing in mind. As I say, I will put a proper review of the Puddle Jumper HP up and the C4 construction. This is just purely to give you a shout of a comparison on all of them. So basically, yeah, the Puddle Fish uh, supposed to be a bit more of a groveler. It probably would go in the smaller wave, but it's not a million miles off the Puddle Jumper for me in the Slim Dims. So uh, the other interesting thing about the Puddle Fish is it actually rides up into a size of wave that you'd probably be quite surprised with. So I would say the Puddle Jumper and the Puddle Fish will both ride anything from, I would start riding them in like probably a chest high wave and then probably up to, they're probably fine up to just a bit, you know, head high, maybe even a little bit overhead. Uh, and then we move on to the Puddle Jumper HP, which you can see is basically a Puddle Jumper and they've taken a little bit out of the tail and a little bit out of the nose and drop the volume a little bit and just added a tiny tiny bit of rocker in the nose and the tail so it's got a little bit more rocker so where before your only option to take this board into a slightly bigger wave was the rounded pin now you've got the hp which is not just got the rounded pin but with a similar rocker this has actually been you know re redesigned and uh it's actually hard to say what what the puddle jumper rounded pin versus this would go in. I would say, for me, this is getting towards, a, this is somewhere in between a, a groveler like these ones, which is really a hybrid for me, and then somewhere in between that and a short board. Now, I don't really ride what you call a short board anymore, so I would say this is just a step on the, uh, I'd call it a high performance hybrid, what I would ride. Like, I wouldn't really ride what, what anyone would call a pure short board anymore. I don't touch boards that have got a, uh, nose is too much skinnier than that to be honest so uh so yeah so <laughs> i've probably not not really been helpful here to a lot of people but it's like you can see all the boards together you can see what's different about them i'll do a proper review on the on the c4 hp because that's quite a cool little board and uh 
it's really just to show you the differences. You can't go wrong with either. If you like fishy boards and you want something and you're only riding fairly flat face waves and you want something that's gonna ride in maybe waist to slightly overhead, that's a great board, really fast. Uh, it's got a bit of a fishy feel to it. If you like a slightly more, slightly more performance squash tail board and you don't mind a little bit less down the line speed and you wanna be able to turn snappier and you can generate your own speed quite well, probably just a standard pu puddle jumper, maybe in a standard size, so you'll get that short, short, really zippy squat little board. And then uh, if you already have you something else in your collection, like I actually start, my collection starts at a beanbag. So the beanbag is like a proper groveler to me. Like I don't actually consider any of these boards to be a groveler because they don't grovel for me and are waves at my weight. So uh, again, my puddle, my beanbag will go in virtually nothing to, that'll also go in head high. So. <laughs> I haven't tried the ceiling on a lot of these boards, but I know the Puddle Fish and the Puddle Jumper will ride overhead waves where I am, but they're not hollow and they're not fast, so that's the big difference. The HP, I would say, is getting on towards just being a step down from my uh, from my sort of high-performance hybrid, which basically is another lost board. is probably my quiver killer. So uh, I would get off the, I'd probably get off the beanbag and then... I could almost go like directly into a quiver killer to be honest, but I'd probably get off the beanbag and then any one any one of those or that would be fine for an in betweeny. Uh, so yeah, it's really okay. It sounds it's, it looks complicated, but it's like when you see them and you see the volume and you see the rocker <coughs> and you know what's in your collection yourself, you'll know what you want. Uh, I'll just do another little part to this because what I'll do for you is I'll I'll lay all the rockers on top of each other so you can see each other. You can see them compared to each other, and we'll have a quick talk through that and yeah sorry if that's going to be a little bit confusing to people but you can actually see them and you can ignore me and just make your own decisions on what you think of the outline shape so they're all great boards uh, if you've got a slightly slightly hollow or slightly bigger wave you can have the HP if you've got something for really really small waves in your collection like maybe you ride a, a mile or a mini mile or you've got something like a beanbag you could almost go straight to that and then that's your board when you're like well it's not really cranking where I'd ride my quiver killer on my performance short board that would be a great board uh, if you've got fairly decent waves these could be any of those could be a groveler uh, both constructions are fantastic that's the c4 carbon cork i'll talk through that in the full review the carbon wrap is is very similar the cork actually has got some really cool damping properties so uh if you're riding a little bit more chop actually it's funny because it feels like it's not quite as i think it's a little bit i'd say it's a little bit stiffer than the carbon wrap uh, and the float's about the same, the carbon wrap's probably a little bit more electric and a little bit more poppy and a little bit more zing to it, and um, the cork has actually got quite a nice damping feel, so if you're riding, funnily enough, if you're riding sort of choppier waves in the middle size range, uh, that's going to, so I know everyone says it, that's going to feel a little bit more like a PU. Now these technologies are really getting that quite good now, so the getting towards like these these and the JS Hi-Fi are feeling feeling like PUs to me towards PUs I mean I still quite like PUs in the bigger wave but in the smaller wave the zip and zing and the float that you get in these is great so <coughs> go through again 60 22 two and three quarters 41.75 litres slim dims that's the puddle fish slim dims puddle jumper that's uh 62 22 and a quarter two and i think it's two and seven eighths this one actually in 43 liters it might still just be two and three quarters uh but obviously that's the slim dims so if that was a regular one it'd probably be like 5 11 22 maybe 21 and three quarters and it'd probably be still coming in like 41 liters and then the puddle jump hp is actually still 22 so it's a uh, 6 2 22 two and three quarters and 41 liters and it's got a bit more rocker so you've got like 42 liters 43 litres, 41 litres, so, you know, they're not, not massively dissimilar boards, so we'll call it at that, and I'll uh, I'll show you some, we'll do another little part to this one, I'll show you some rocker stuff, and then I'll do a proper review on the HP for you, and uh, yeah, I hope that's helpful for some people, so you're probably not going to get to see them all lined up together, and even me, I need to start making some decisions on which boards keep, <laughs> which, which I keep and which I sell next year, you know, it's like, the, uh, the bank account manager's not very impressed, and Max just to buy everything out this year by buying lots of toys and I don't really get to buy, uh, I don't really get to ride short boards all that much so yeah I really need to start skimming down the quiver and 
someone's probably going to get some very, very uh, well, good condition, well looked after boards for a very cheap price next year or a reasonable price. So, uh, yeah. All right, cheers, guys. That's part one. Part two, I'll, I'll chuck all the rockers on each other and just talk through a bit more. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and catch you soon.